Okay, now is it okay everyone? Please tell me. Okay, thank you. If I am visible, no, I thought I became Miss Mrs. India, you know, like Mr. India. So we'll just start. Okay, now, see, I'll start from the very basics, right? Few things, you are seeing my iron. This is always requ uh, required when we are doing something on fabric. Second thing, please look here. Are you seeing my table? Can you see my table, girls? So, this is one bed sheet. You can see very thick, old bed sheet. I have this one rug or a, this is a mat, okay? And then I have another tablecloth. Can you see these three layers which I have made? Is it visible children? Three layers. One carpet, one thick tablecloth, one carpet and one old bed sheet. This one is also very thick. Now the most important thing which is required when you are doing a block printing is a good base. What I showed you is a good base. I will also show you one more thing. That is my table because you may sound funny. This is a table without a glass top. Okay? Without a glass top. If you are going to do block printing on your dining table with a glass top or your center table with a glass top, it is going to break. So please do not do something like that. Great? Okay. The second point which you need to understand, very important it is. It is that when we buy a block, any block, I am showing you this block. See front and this side. So when we buy a block, you, can you see this side is dry? And can you see the color of this block, this side? Yes. What is the difference? One is dark brown, one is light brown from the sides. Why? Because when we buy a block, we need to take a deep plate. See, like this. Can you see? It's a deep plate. Yes. And then we need to pour some oil in it. So, I had mustard oil, I had poured mustard oil. You can use vegetable oil, you can use mustard oil, you can use 
the normal any kind of oil which is available at your home that you need to pour in this and you have to then dip your block in this like this like this okay and this you need to keep for at least 24 hours okay one full day and when you have kept it for one full day it will change the color why because all the oil will be absorbed by the block itself right done understood uh, when you are absorb keeping the block here remember the the design okay the design side has to be down dipped in the oil okay done i hope i have made this thing very clear now after this after 24 hours you take it out and with a tissue paper you can clean your block so that there is no traces of oil this i have already done children this process with these two blocks because i wanted to teach you block printing using these two blocks okay so i'll keep it here and oil and plate i want to remove all right one more thing now so this is one box old box which i have and can you see this foam sheet sponge this sponge okay thick sponge piece of sponge in one box any container with a lid huh and you put it inside like this right and I have got this one which has a lid because if I will not finish my work today I will just close the lid and keep it and maybe tomorrow again I will start with the same right so I am keeping this aside blocks also aside now for this instant block printing which is uh, I will say um, very easy and I am not using the proper uh, block printing colors and the binders but I just want to do a very quick instant block printing which all can do fata fat like this at your home so for that I am using can you see this is my fabric color acrylic color fairy quill I am using and I am using portion blue you select your com color combination according to your own self okay because I have selected portion blue why because my fabric I have selected is green this is the fabric which i have selected and the color i have selected is dark blue right other than this i need a spoon and scale i need i need this tailoring chalk pencil great i also need one rough cloth because before uh, putting the block directly on the uh, cloth i will be using it first on a rough cloth to ensure that you know my block is uh, nicely being printed on the fabric now let's get started with the proper process so first thing i'm doing children i'm showing you what i did i went to the tailor and i gave him around four and a half meters cloth and told him i want to make one suit so these are few pieces which i told him to take out for me what you're seeing right now is my sleeve okay this is one sle uh, sleeve and this is the second sleeve. I told him to cut and give me. Yes, can you see two sleeves? Hmm? So this is how he has cut and give me both the sleeves. So I will keep this aside for now. Now I will show you. I told him to give me the front and back of my kurti. Sleeves I have shown you. Now I am showing you the front and back of my kurti. See children. So it's like this. Plain. Can you see? A horizontal piece. He has taken out and he has given me. Right? Horizontal piece. Okay. And this is the front. And this one is the back. So four pieces in all. Two sleeves. Front and back. Alright. And from four and a half meter, he will stitch one trouser for me also with the same cloth. Uh, I will quickly start with the sleeve first. Like this. 
so you see what i am doing can you see this arc this curve of the sleeve like this and can you see this end of the sleeve here so i am just folding it together like this hmm and i will iron it and make a crease i hope i am audible and all of you can understand what i am explaining you in case you have any problem please uh, you can type and let me know because i have kept my laptop closer to me so that i can read what you are saying okay like this so i am with the help of iron i will make a crease center crease huh now see this is the center crease i have folded it like this now one more fold i am going to do like this okay straight folds huh i am using this tip okay for the folds hmm now it is a better fold straight fold i am using a steam press children so that the crease is good huh and please do not burn your cloth while doing all this and one more fold i have done all these fold you can see i am going horizontally huh if there is any query you can type in the comment because i am seeing that also side by side okay now this is done so i will switch off first the iron now when i will open it you will see that i have proper lines okay you can see the crease now i'm folding it back again and my iron needs to be on once more just one second and i will fold same like i have folded earlier same crease i am following her the previous one and one fold like this and one more fold like this and i will just again iron it so that i get few points where i can put my block otherwise you know measuring too much with the scale and all is a little it's it's a little time consuming i like it this way so i'm opening the entire thing and showing you once again see you've got marks now Can you see the marks? Becomes really easy when you are doing this. So now I will turn it towards me. And this side is, you know, this this area. And this curve which you are seeing is the shoulder. So what I am doing now is I am taking a scale and I am leaving little stitching area. You know, na the sleeve needs to be stitched. It is not stitched here. It is raw. So I am leaving stitching area here. like this you can see i am making a line i am using light yellow color this chalk this is a tailoring chalk which i am using light yellow and can you see this 
let me also find out if you can see this okay now i will start applying my first block all right so i am taking this the box in this box i will first put the color so i'm opening my color so you need a rough cloth huh? because hands will get dirty and you need to clean uh, please be very careful you are not spotting with fabric color here and there on your cloth because this is fabric color it will never go from your cloth okay yes so bit of fabric color i am keeping in my spoon and like this see i am spreading on the sponge little bit more i will take a huh? like this see how i am doing it and the spoon you keep inside now take the block and dab it here on the sponge see can you see the color how beautifully the color has been picked up by the block and take a rough cloth first take a rough cloth just open it and just put your block and do little bang bang with the with your hand okay like this and just pick and see you got a nice print here so that means your block is good you have a good block okay it's a neat block so the same process i am going to do again so i've taken the block i have dipped in the color and i have loaded the color this i say loading the color now very nicely see with clean hands see your hand should not be dirty keep on watching your hands no it should not be dirty otherwise you will spot on your cloth and this line which i have just drawn i will place the block on the line like this and i will do again little pressing nicely pressing with my hand and then i will hold the cloth and i will lift now you see i'm sure you're going to love this i'm sure ma'am what is inside the bowl rithima this is a sponge this is a sponge if you don't have a sponge you know what you do you know scotch brite we use for cleaning our utensil at home yes that scotch brite is one side green and one side is sponge you can also use that scotch right dear if you don't have this sponge this sponge i got from one sofa maker no there is one person near my house who makes sofa and all that no so from him i got this sponge all right uh, again every time you load a color like this you please see your block because sometimes you know you will feel yes my block is totally loaded with the color but it is not so every time you are loading like this please see the block okay and then again this line you have you are going to join the previous design with the block like this and check your line check your line dear and like this press it nicely press it nicely okay so drink a glass of milk before doing block printing a huh? power puff girls again lift it now see my design see how beautiful it has come easy block printing is very easy if your sponge is thicker and your this pad no i told you no this table this padding is good then you will be able to do well always there will be no problem if this pad is weak the the base is weak block printing will come gadbad okay it will not come that nice so again i am following my line and the design and i am placing it here again i am pressing hard 
like this and I am picking it up see now see my design now the same process I will do to complete the whole sleeve huh? all right Again pressing nicely. I hope you all girls are enjoying painting with me today. Huh? As much I am enjoying teaching you all today. New mode of teaching. And learning. Yeah, Arshima and Rashi are very happy. I can see. Yes ma'am. See Rashi is saying yes ma'am. Okay now this side now. So side. Dekho, this If I will press here like this so little is coming out so what I will do I will keep one paper any rough paper I can keep whichever is near so I'll just catch one hold on huh I'll just catch one paper so this is one huh? rough paper I found nearby this I will keep here so that my sheet doesn't get dirty why I'm protecting my sheet because I have to do abhi the kurti also all right this is only the sleeve so like this I have kept under your seam and again the same process the straight line I have to follow and keep the block and press. Yes, press nicely. See now how nice the design has come. Isn't it beautiful? Tell me. Okay, see Sonia is liking block printing very much. Now, I want to make it double border. Okay. Ma'am, can you tell the fabric? I lost the connection in between the video. Ishika fabric. Dekho beta. The fabric I am using right now is called a lazy busy cloth. Okay. It's a lazy busy cloth. It is a cloth which we wear in summers usually. So, this is a summer wear. Okay. So, I will make this much sleeves. It's a summer wear. Right? Understood? Lazy busy. The cloth is lazy busy. Alright. Now I want double border. So I will make one more line. Like this. So that I can make a double border. So after this. Hmm, just like this. I will make one line. From where I can do double border. See. Light I am making. I don't want to make it very thick. And I feel that the color in my uh, sponge is less. So what I am doing is that I am taking some more colors. Little more color I am taking. Please excuse me for the sound uh, which you are hearing here and there. I cannot help that children. And also I want to tell you one thing that I am also recording this video right so i will post later after three four days this in uh, youtube so any problem any confusion if you have or anything any doubt you can later on see the video and you know your problem will be solved otherwise i am always there with you you can always ask me whatever issue you have so once more i have loaded the this sponge with the color and now i am loading my block like this see every time you see a man checks i am checking every time when i am loading the color in the block so second line second line here and press see this is the double border now thick border i will have on my sleeve See, I am using both my hand. This hand, no, right hand, left hand, I used to keep the block. And right hand, I, I used to place the block in the correct position. Okay? Keeping down is left hand. Right hand is positioning. I, I with, the, with my finger, I keep it up and down like this so that it sets on the correct place. See, this one is to put down. This one is to help in positioning. Like this. Nicely press, huh? See? How interesting. 
and the best is handmade children do you realize how how valuable is handmade good what you will wear nobody on earth will have same like you how special you will feel when you will make and wear this of course your craft paper work i know that i know see adarsha is enjoying it she is liking it pressing hard okay and again i am loading some more color every time i take the color i am repeating these things because these are really important i check the block whether it is you know loaded properly or not loaded properly because once it's done it's done you cannot redo it okay press hard and lift now this one is the last block for the border the last block goes here right now nicely press and lift now if you are liking this i must tell you two things are responsible for this beautiful block the first thing is a thick sponge here and the second thing is this thick layer which i have shown you the layer of bed sheet and rug and there is a carpet small carpet which i have placed under the this my block printing on my block printing table this is the most important thing if this and this is thick you are going to rock your block printing is going to be just awesome now i am going to leave this block okay and i have one small block by the way i guess i missed something to tell you you know what this one this no this one is called a running block because i am making border na so generally we make a border with a running block and this one is a motif okay you can also use it as a running block you can also make a border with the motif but mostly this one is used for making the border and this one is called the running the motif block running block motif block okay so now is the turn of this small this is small paisley design see beautiful huh so same process i will dip i will check first i will check in rough you know ma'am always checks in rough so this little cloth i will bring closer to me i don't know if you can see this or not i hope you can see this right and i will put the block and check yes it goes fine so i saw it's working now i'm going to reload it so what i'm doing like this i can keep a scale here first okay so i'll keep a scale here so that my line is straight right now my line will be straight and here 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 and here on the crease i showed you know the creases i'm going to put the block like this press and lift see again loaded the block again press and lift again loading the block press and lift once more press and lift see once more press and lift now see how nice it has come isn't it beautiful yes i can see some are very happy to see this how nice and easy it is yes now i'll wait for a second why i'm waiting for a second because this is really wet and i don't want to keep my scale on it so i'll just wait for a while till that time what i'm doing i'm reloading my sponge here i will reload my sponge here with the 
color now this block is small so very small area only I am going to reload yes the center area like this and for quick drying you know what I do I use hair dryer yes but now I think it is okay and I can keep the scale now again again I am keeping a scale on my design why I am is keeping scale so that her lines are straight because every time I just cannot draw the lines so it's a big wastage of time yes see Rashi is liking it Pavni is also liking it I think Sejal is also liking Sejal will make I know Sejal makes nice drawing now what I will do I will again same line I will make one more I can make here also otherwise I can do in between also okay this can also be done in between the two I can draw one like this see see base can you see these two in between these two I have dropped one here I will show you again now in between these two I have dropped one here see again in between these two I have dropped one here very easy it is again next line between these two I have dropped one here see now how easy zero effort huh zero effort only you are going to have a quality time actually doing it you will enjoy doing it and sometime I want to show you something children see sometime this side of the block they get dirty okay so if the side of the block is getting dirty what you do simply take the cloth and clean the side like this okay should not get dirty like this so after cleaning it nicely thoroughly I am going for the next line. So like this I will keep my scale again. Alright. And the next line I am going to do. Next line will be in front of this. Okay. So just place the scale first properly. Be confident about you placing your scale. Then block. Because once if you have done block. Then again you cannot you know redo it or something like that. You have to be very careful. Eki bar mein sahi kaam karna hai. Alright. So here we go. This one. This. See. Again load the block. And this. This I am going on the crease. Huh? one line on the crease and one line in between the crease see fabulous it's going to look you know when i was a child i had started learning block printing after learning block printing what you know what happened my mother she got so happy with it and she got super excited. She made pillow covers, cushion covers, bed sheet and the whole day I was doing block printing only on it. Oh, Gayatri is also there. Good, Gayatri. Good to see you also there. Yes, Dia is very happy. I know Dia is very creative. Uh, golden Mridula is saying what about golden print on black cloth? Uh, Mridula, I will be teaching you that in some other session, okay? And it will be good you raise this question in the class itself. All right? I'll tell you something more exciting about it. I'm being slow because I'm wanting my color to dry also, beta. Huh? So like this. See this sleeve? I'm going to make very heavy sleeve. All right? Now what I will do? In between these two blocks, I will put one block like this same process you want to repeat this again between the two you will put one again between the two you are going to put one 
and again between the two you are going to put 1. See. Now, see how nice. Are you liking it? Hmm? Girls, I hope you are all enjoying this block printing lesson today with me. Alright, I will put the scale again back like this and now where? Now I will do on this crease on the line. I will make heavy sleeves with light kurti. Okay, this is what I have thought of designing. See, when you are talking about designing, we have to design our stuff ourselves. Na? That is why we look different from others. Everyone doing same style looks very boring. See, on the crease. See, Ashima is liking it. Rashi is also liking it. Good. It's so interesting, no, doing like this. Block printing. And one more block, huh, here. Now, clean the sides. See sides of the block I am cleaning again and again. Hmm? It gets dirty. You will come to know like this. It will spread. You will come to know that yes, it is dirty now. And it is time to clean the block. You will understand. Okay, the next line in between wala line now. Huh? We are in between wala line again. So, between these two, one here. Again between these two, one here. Between these two, one here. And again between these two, one here. See with the help of scale, no? line wala problem is solved. You can easily do without measuring a lot. Only thing is you need to keep the scale straight. Ha, by chance if you feel you cannot, then what you do is, you draw a little line. But remember, children, when you are drawing line, use a tailoring chalk like this. Huh? Please do not use pencil to draw line because the pencil mark will not go even after washing. Then you will have problem. Okay? So, one block. Two block. This all I am doing on the crease now. Huh? And third. This is fourth and this one is fifth, right? Now again in between volley blocks, huh? in between volley blocks. So I am starting again. Shubhi is asking ma'am can we do golden color block on red cloth? Uh, Shubhi, yes, you can do. But I think if you are using golden color, no, Shubhi, you see the other tutorial which I have done, that maroon suit tutorial. That will look better. Just check that. Okay, Shubhi? In between blocks, I am doing. Here, this one is the last one. Now, I think I will go on the next line. But I need to reload my sponge. I am feeling that there is less color on the sponge. So, I am just trying to reload it. Some more color I have taken. With the help of spoon, spread it nicely. Huh? There should not be any lumps of color again I am reloading and now what is the chance now chance is on the crease huh? on the crease on the crease 
on the crease on the crease and on the crease okay now one more turn one more turn in between the crease ma'am uh, is the color completely dried like so fast should be it's not completely dried i am doing fast pass so that i don't waste lot of your time okay so that is the reason why i am doing super fast so that at least one sleeve i can show you today okay understood should be you do little slow don't be so fast like me and now in between two lines yes in between two lines again in between two lines in between two lines these lines are the crease huh in between the two crease here and i think this one will be the last one which i will do so i am on the crease now huh okay on the crease on the crease i hope her simran and sahib singh are also enjoying block printing on the crease we have on the crease and one more on the crease so i think this this sleeve is done huh i am keeping this on the rough cloth i don't want here and there stamps and i guess i need a charger for my laptop so just give me a minute huh let me connect Okay, done. Yes, done. Ma'am is back. Now you see my sleeve, how it looks. I'll just try to show you. See now. Tell me how it looks. Quickly tell me. I want to hear from you. I'm waiting to see. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Harshimar Singh and Sahib Singh are enjoying it. Good, good. Dia also likes now. Now tell me, girls, how it looks. So this is the sleeve, and it looks professional. Tell me, handmade. See how lovely are handmade things. How lovely and amazing. And when you are going to wear, nobody else will have this kind. Yes, that is what makes. handmade things so very special great great that's great children you also try in rough first okay when you are buying lizzy busy cloth take half a meter extra and first try in rough all right then you make a fair one um uh, can i start with the neck now i want to do the front of the uh kurti can i start so i'll just keep this on one side and we'll bring the next piece that is my front piece yes so i got got it this one is here all right and i will just keep the other things on side like this always remember after you have finished block printing wash your blocks in lukewarm water all right with toothbrush <laughs> you will say what is man saying but yes it requires to be washed with a toothbrush now this children if you will see my sleeve uh, sorry my front huh? you will see that already i have ironed and i have a crease here 
Yes, can you see the crease? Okay, so this crease you already I have taken out. Now I am going to fold this in half. Like this, when you fold you will see that I am in the correct position. Right? Okay, you can just cross check. What I am doing is I am opening it. Let me see from which side is the cloth correct. Okay, this side is correct. So this side I am opening it like this. Okay. So this is my center of the cloth. Okay. So what I am doing. I am thinking of making a design. In which you know. Uh, there is one running block here. And in center I have this motif. Okay. This is what, what I have thought of. So what I am doing is I am measuring the block. The the area of the block like this width so this area is around 2.5 centimeter this curve width of the block is around 2.5 okay so 2.5 matlab main man mein le lungi i will calculate it to be 3 centimeter okay because i am taking extra so 3 centimeter is the running block now i will calculate the width of the chotu block motif block so this is around 1.5 which I will evaluate to be 2. So 2 plus 3 is how much? 5. So it becomes 5 centimeter. So what I will do? I will need 5 centimeter from this center line this side. And I will need 5 centimeter from the center line this side. Okay. So that I give. I can justify the center block also. No? It also needs little breathing space. Okay. 5 centimeter here. 5 centimeter there. So what is man doing? I am just trying to find where my tailoring chalk is gone. Which seems to be lost under some thing. Wait. I will just find it out. I got it. Yes. So from this line. <coughs> I will measure. 5 centimeter. See. 5 centimeter. Thoda sa niche again. I will draw a line of 5. It is just like you do border in school same time and again from this line this side 5 centimeter and this side also 5 centimeter like this okay so this total it becomes 10 centimeter now width I have taken now chance of length so how much I am taking I am taking 35 centimeter 35 centimeter is about is according to me okay so you can take 30 centimeter also you can take 20 centimeter also it depends because see I am little taller uh, you can evaluate according to me you know? if you are a little shorter you can take maybe 30 centimeter if if you feel that you want some different design you can have always change the dimensions okay so for me my height my design because it is mine now so personalized, understood? Personalized thing has to be there. And secondly, thoda sa stitching maybe around 2 inches cut jayega na. So I am taking extra children. So I am taking 35 centimeter like this. I have drawn a line. See, 35 centimeter. And from here also, these two marks, I am putting my scale on it. Again, 35 centimeter, I will draw a line. Mm -hmm like this see 35 centimeter again and here I will join it like this now if you will I am not keeping my block it is not loaded but I am just trying to see whether the thing will fit in or not so here I have one block I have space for one chotu block this one right and again I have one space for the running block. See how I evaluate? Just a little calculation you have to do. Rough calculation in your mind. Okay. That is what is very important. Now I will show you how I do this. This is the neck children. The neck which I am making. First of all I will load some color. I want little color on my sponge. Huh? So I am taking it. And just loading my sponge nicely with the color. 
see there should be no lumps of color here and there all right when you are doing there should be no lumps of color here and there like this see now it's smooth yes and take your block like this nicely dab check whether it is done nicely or not loaded nicely or not and quickly you will start printing same process keep press and lift load i will remove the scale keep it on a side load keep press now here is something which is going to come something very tricky is going to come so you all need to be very careful about seeing what i am going to show you now okay very tricky thing is going to come now very soon again another straight line now you all know nicely how to work on straight line so press nicely a tricky thing is going to come very soon very soon be careful what i'm going to show you good girls see lovely students i have it's a blessing to have such good students yes right now tricky thing is very close what is the tricky thing now see can you see this this and this okay right so here it is like a 90 degree angle where here and one here two places you have a 90 degree angle so what you have to do you have to divide it into 45 degree children this is a maths yes 45 and 45 becomes 90 okay so what you do you keep a d here and divide all right so now i don't have a d with me what i will do i will just with my hand see and divide like this see here also and here also but you do with a d huh you have d all of you do you have d let me know if you have or not and now comes the very tricky thing very very tricky thing see where you have drawn na beta here this line you put one paper here like this like this so half of the 90 degree angle you have hidden Okay, this is very tricky thing, children. And if you make it nicely, that will be excellent. Okay, so I'm loading my block, and my block will be placed same straight. There is no change in the placing of the block. Only is that angle and straight. I am going to place it like this, like this, and press it hard. Same way. press it hard and pick it up and you see you got an angle could you make out the angle isn't it interesting how nicely you made an angle now second this is the first angle you made now second angle you are going to hide this earlier you have hidden this part now now the other 45 degree you are going to hide like this the s chupa diya you got to hide it but now since this is a small place what i have to do i have to hide this area also so i will be needing one more rough paper which i will get just in a second so i will be using this paper this is and i am going to keep this side like this see i have hidden upar wala both 45 degree man has hidden okay and i'm going to place my block now just check carefully when you are placing the block because this is something which cannot be redone okay yes 
and nicely press and lift okay see corner has come neat and clean corner now let's do the other side the other side see again you have this 45 degree wala area and you join this nicely join ha huh? and press press nicely press 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 and pick it up see how neat the corner has come just like you know ready made stuff but i guess handmade is more precious than ready made i don't know why i have a habit of saying better than ready made i should say better than ready made not like ready made but better than ready made now this side i have done so what i'm going to do i'm going to hide this side like this so i've hidden this side ha huh? children you need to practice this this because again i'm repeating this is a tricky thing making the angle no the corner is a tricky thing and i will place the block again and i will press nicely i'm going to press this and children on i think on saturday i'm going to do one tie and dye tutorial in case you want to watch you can let me know i will send you the link it's a tie and dye tutorial and i'm planning to make a kaftan on georgette live again so if you want to join do let me know i will send you the link otherwise i am doing it for class 11 so one more see carefully place the block nicely press hard you must all be i think you are enjoying this block printing in your comments i can see okay harsimar singh also wants to watch harsimar and sahib singh will definitely watch because they are the two who are helping me in recording so both these kids they are right in front of me children and they are helping me out in recording this whole thing live so it's a big thing which you know i am doing today with the help of these kids See, pressing hard and lift. Now I think my color is coming light. So what I have to do is I have to load the color. Yes. So in this sponge, I have to load the color like this. This is something which will you will you will learn with practice, children. You will come to know that now the color is a little bit lighter, and I have to you know. reload my sponge okay so one more block i think two more block and the kurta thing will be finish yes i always wanted to wear this color combination i don't know why i didn't buy it but that's good no now because of you all because i have to teach you i got this color combination suit so lucky you are lucky for me i will say and i'm keeping a paper because i don't want to you know this bed sheet to get dirty and this is the last running block children last running block so here it is So kids please give me a break of 5 minutes okay Actually I'm just changing the battery so give me 5 minutes girls huh
just a minute or two more just some work to be there just a minute children one or two minutes i am reloading my color till that time i'm just waiting yes okay so am i there please let me know if you all can see me so that i can start quickly let me know dear girls pavni ashima samya anyone gayatri okay okay sarvika said harsimmer said yes ma'am okay so i am starting with my chotu block now huh? small block small block i will put right in the center because this line is in the center now so i will start and put my chotu block here see 1 then one more no i will make two more like this one and i will make on sides see now it's like like we walk na ek pair aage ek pair piche i am doing like that ha huh? ek pair aage ek pair piche see it's just almost like somebody is walking you need to clear your cloth keep on clearing your cloth side by side isn't it like somebody is walking ek pair aage ek pair piche so same i am doing the amazing pattern right in front of you children great and one more and one more and one more i am doing it till the top because i don't know till where the tailor is going to stitch because this pattern is different i told him not to make a neck separately and this and one more last ha huh? i'm going to put here now something i want to make here see now what do you think children tell me this is the the neck i have made can you see everyone can see the neck and tell me if you like it because i want to keep my kurti light and i want to keep my sleeves heavy i don't want both the things to look very heavy no then it looks very awkward and too much see and maybe later on i will add a border on the base the base this is the top you are seeing the now i am leaving it down and what comes is the base see like this like this the base so just let me clear my table too many things getting over congested huh just a moment children can you see now the base yes and i'll take my big scale and i'll take my tailoring chalk i need to leave some space children 
here for the tailor to stitch okay right this is the base na so tailor will also need some space to fold the kapda like this no tailor fold na like this and then like this to make the base aise so for that i am leaving some space so how much space i am leaving i am going to show you roughly i am leaving around uh 8 cm 8 9 cm okay 9 cm from down children i am leaving this is the space i am leaving for the tailor to stitch because this is the edge no so he will like to stitch in the edge and i will draw a line same as i did on the sleeve same process girls here also see one line one big line i have drawn simple easy is there any problem in doing this do let me know let me know how did you like the process you find it easy or you find it difficult please let me know if you have any questions please put up your questions because i am seeing what all you are writing no so again i am loading you are seeing like this i am loading and see lumps should not be there can you see what i am doing if if sometimes i have overloaded you will see lumps so what you do quickly take out some color from here there should not be any lump of color here otherwise it will come very uneven color okay so i have loaded again i am loading my block with the color and the same way i did in the sleeve i will do here so nicely from this side i am keeping the block and i am oh i am glad ashima you found it easy you know there is lot of hard work behind all this kind of teaching because even i am very new with this technology i'm just trying to be more friendly with the technology and now see how i am keeping with my both hands i am using my both hands to see you know that it is properly placed in the correct position placing in the correct position is very important children because block printing no like other kind of painting you can repair but block printing you can't repair much if something is wrong it is wrong so carefully see see how ma'am sees carefully you can see my head half of my head is gone in the block printing area only see carefully i see notice and then i press nicely press and the little secret i have already shared with you you know about the sponge and about the base of the cloth that is the most important secret of doing a good block printing please you can try on rough table cloth children before making the fair suit you can try on some rough cloth but use lizzy wizzy cloth it is very good cloth for block printing and one more i am making the base no border border aage of the kurta heavy sleeves simple neck simple kurti with heavy sleeves this is what i had planned sometimes you can even draw and you know like this you can draw and plan your dress and one girl has shown me a very beautiful dragonfly block i had just fallen in love with that block i really like those na no? the dragonfly block umbrella wala block i like those kind of blocks a lot i really love them children don't forget one thing the care of the fabric and color how to handle this block printing 
so you are not going to wash it what you are going to do is 24 hours after 24 hours you are going to reverse iron do you know the meaning of reverse iron please tell me what is the meaning of reverse iron when we are ironing from the back side of the cloth not from the front huh after 24 hours you are going to reverse iron and after that only you are going to wash don't be in a hurry of washing it and i'm keeping this paper the rough paper no because i don't want my sheet to get dirty on the base and then i'm going to put the last block here yes so i'm making a double border i made a double border on the sleeve now same way i will make a double border here also but i think i need some color on the sponge which i am taking and i am reloading my sponge here okay like this now again my block and i'll keep a scale here children now you know my technique now how easy it is big scale this scale is 45 cm scale big scale like this scale i have kept and now i'm going to put the second layer of block here running block second layer yes before starting block printing please make a design on a paper rough design i mean to say you need to style no ki kahan par kya chahiye kitna block chahiye kaisa block chahiye like i have designed you have seen i thought ki mera sleeves will be little heavy and my kurta will be little light hai na so like this you have to plan design your dress so here it goes some more blocks i'll keep very light kurta i don't want too much on the kurta because sleeves i have done very heavy then it looks too much ashima is asking from the back Ashima I think back I will keep plain this time because in the previous uh, suit which I have done na I have done on the back also Okay <laughs> I this is this is you mean to say ironing from the back side okay yes reverse iron means ironing from the back side of the fabric I thought Ashima is asking me what I am going to do on the back of my kurti the front of my kurti i am doing already in front of you and i thought she is asking what i am going to do at the back of my kurti yes see i got confused ha huh? ashima you all are very creative class so this is what gives me motivation to you know do good and good and good for you see what a relation of ashima children are getting motivated by ma'am and ma'am is getting motivated by children hai na so what a combination we are what a different kind of student and teacher we are i have not seen such relationship in any school you know really we have we are different see me hai can all of you not one or two actually all of you you are inspired by me and i get motivated by you see what kind of couple we are i will say couple we are a different kind of pair different chemistry we have that is why it is said some relations are born in heaven Okay so I will just slide my scale 
some more because my liner it should not get crooked so i want to shift and yes we are almost through it just two blocks more children you have been very patient in seeing all this throughout and i know it's difficult for sitting and watching for this long but at the same time i'm sure that you have learned today something nice and this you will remember throughout your life so it's the last block children if their cloth is not clean means if it has it is crushed then block printing will be difficult so before block printing iron your cloth nicely so that there the cloth should not be crushed sarvika is asking something sarvika just one second hmm? i will just read after i lift this block yes sarvika is saying ma'am i wanted to ask like if the color or is uh okay you want to ask that if the color gets light or something like that is it is it what you want to ask then you can't redo only at some some places what you can do is you can take a triple zero brush okay a triple zero brush you can take and you can do a little bit of touching here and there but at the same time you cannot do too much i will repeat on this thing see block printing uh, there is very less scope of corrections so you have to think and then you need to place the block and i will suggest you to take a small piece of cloth first practice the angles you know i told you na 90 degree angle 45 degree angle those angles you need to practice in that then you make the fair suit okay take a small piece and make some square in it and do block printing so that you have the practice of you know those cutting of angle like you know i have showed you the 90 degree divide into 45 degree keep a piece of paper and then how to take change how to cut the angle you need to have a practice of that only then you do okay so practice and then do the fair one all right and i can show you now the final thing how it looks yes because i'm through mm -hmm. and i want to lift it so lot of corrections children cannot be done in block printing can you see my kurta now nicely tell me is it visible to you all so anyone can type and tell me yes ma'am yes so i have kept the border light the neck little i have done and what else i have done the sleeves which i will show you just now give me one second to show you the sleeve also i'll get it huh so this is the heavy sleeve see what a combination see now light kurti with heavy sleeve see how nice it's going to look yes i have explained you in very simple and easy manner and i hope you all enjoyed learning all this with me and you have got this concept very nicely yes and i'm sure you are going to do it practice it and practice is something which is going to make you perfect all right again i am reminding you three things one thing is have a nice sponge this sponge thick and nice okay have a nice padding padding means the table i showed you na this table i showed you it had so many layers again i am repeating see one bed sheet very old thick very thick bed sheet then you can see one carpet small carpet you can see one uh, under carpet there is one table cloth also can you see so this is very important and remember avoid using pencil pencil marks will not go from the fabric 
प्लीज यूज टेलरिंग चौक दिस इज दिंग चौक ओके दिस यू कैन गेट I got from my tailor only. I told him give me one piece. Begged him, so he gave me one out of kindness. Otherwise, you can buy. It is only two three rupees, children. This you will get from button shop, from the shop from where you buy buttons and hooks and threads. No, from that shop you are going to get it. So I hope you all enjoyed painting with me as much I enjoyed teaching you. And lots of blessings to each one of you. Keep rocking always. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay happy always. Signing off. Bye bye. God bless.